Today we will be looking at the Rockout Sora mechanical keyboard in this review, however before I get started I just want to say that we were sent this product to review by Rockout, this isn't a paid promotional video or anything like that, however we were given this product to review. Mechanical keyboards are often seen as the next step to finish off a build for various reasons, be that just macro keys or esports or what have you, but they're often quite expensive, however the Sora is fairly cheap in comparison at £80. However, we're here to see if the hardware on offer here is actually worth your cash. Now, the first thing we're going to be looking at with this particular keyboard is its design. You know, the first thing you see when you open up the box is, of course, what the thing looks like. And the Sora is slim and sleek. Now, it is a full-size keyboard. However, it is more compact than my usual fairly bulky plastic keyboard, which does have its advantages. Say, if you want to take this to any lands or anything like that, it's obviously going to take up the space in your suitcase or what have you. But it can have a disadvantage if you have a bit of a bigger hand span, like myself. It was a bit of an adjustment because the keys are close together because it still is a full size so in order to save that space the keys are closer together than I'm personally used to so it's just a bit of adjustment if you have a larger hand span like myself now unsurprisingly on the back it has the usual flip out legs if you want to raise your keyboard and has a single USB cord coming out of it so this isn't one of those keyboards that has like five or six cords coming off it which is pretty nice if you like to keep your cable management nice and tidy and the cable itself is braided and feels nice and sturdy like it's not going to break by being you know, wrapped in a suitcase or just you know, being used in everyday use. Now naturally each key is backlit by a blue LED, no colour changing here unfortunately but the blue is rather nice and it can be adjusted either by using the function and print screen combination or by using the Rockat Swarm application, I'll get to that later. A really nice touch with the LEDs that is purely aesthetic but something that I did appreciate is that with the multifunction key, say for example, you know your number keys across the top or other such keys, the second function for the keys is dimmer than the main function, which is a, again purely aesthetic but still a nice touch. Now the caps lock, scroll, and nom lock keys serve as their own indicators. Again, another way they've saved space by not having the usual lights in the top right or top left or sometimes the middle. So when caps lock is not in use it will be unlit and the same for the other keys. Overall I would rate the lighting quality of the Rocket Sora pretty damn nice. It's bright, it's clean without being too obnoxious and obviously you've got the brightness controls as well. Some buttons do seem brighter than others but again that could be just a pure sort of model by model basis or something like that but there, that is something to consider. It's not a uniform brightness across each key. Now a concern that you might have about a mechanical keyboard is the sound. Of course, it does have a sort of more distinct, sharper, slightly louder sound than a normal keyboard press. And this might be only a concern for those thinking of using this keyboard for streaming or YouTube, but if you are thinking of using it for those uh, particular uses, most of the time this keyboard will not be terribly interrupted if you're recording if you're using the usual W, A, S and D, and maybe a few keys such as E and R. If you're using the keyboard a bit more heavily while recording, perhaps you're typing normally or what have you, this is a mechanical keyboard so again it does have that louder sound that will be picked up more by your microphone. Now in just a second I'm going to cut to some clips that I recorded using my blue snowball mic, the usual distance I have while recording with the keyboard and mouse game, just doing some various tests so you get an idea of how loud the keys actually are. This is obviously for people who like to stream and such so here we go. This is the second Sora sound test where I'm going to be talking as I type to get an idea of what we'd like for streamers and YouTubers to use. So obviously when you're streaming you're not going to be super using it all that much. Maybe just the arrow keys and of course WASD as well. However, if we go back to the functions for a second, you have several media control keys that will be activated with F9 and F12 and they're activated with the function keys. You've also got volume up, volume down and mute buttons and of course the usual non-media selection of shortcuts as well. Now as I mentioned at the start of this video, you might be tempted to get this particular keyboard because of the real gaming or esports functionality which is the presence of the six macro keys which are located just above the arrow keys. Now there is no capability to record macros on the fly, but recording is pretty easy with that Rocket Swarm application that I mentioned earlier. 
And once you have them set up, and again, we'll go through that in just a sec, they are activated or deactivated with the game mode button on the top right of the keyboard. Now let's move on to that swarm application that I keep mentioning. Thankfully, it's pretty lightweight and easy to use. So it's not a huge download that you have to use it in order to program your macro keys. It took me all of maybe 10 minutes to get a grasp on how to use the program. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you do have finer control of the lighting functions of the keyboard here, and you do have five different pro profiles available. So if you want to have different settings based upon you know, different games or setups or what have you, you can do that. And there are an absolute ton of preloaded macro keys for popular games. So I was quite pleased to see my personal favorite, StarCraft 2, and even the rather surprising addition of Photoshop macro keys. So League of Legends, all those popular games probably already got preloaded macro keys so you don't have to bother. Obviously you can tweak them and change them if you so wish, but there is a huge library of macro keys available for your perusal. Now naturally, you can of course record your custom macros as well, and the program does offer control over delay. So you can either tell the program to not record the delay, have it be a fixed delay, or actually record the delay as you input the keys. Now, you cannot record mouse clicks with this particular program, but you can add them in fairly easily manually. As I just mentioned a second ago, this particular app does come with five profiles, which have, which can have rather multiple programs to each profile, and you can easily import and export profiles if for some reason taking the keyboard on the go, again, taking it to lands or other such things. Going back to the LEDs for a second, as I said, you can do it with the shortcut of the function and print screen combination, but you're just sort of cycling through some presets with that option. This is finer control of the brightness of the LEDs, and you can also toggle the breathing mode on or off. So you can literally just tweak the brightness to ex your exact specifications, and again, turn the breathing mode on or off, which I personally would, just, would not have that on. So, what is my overall verdict? Well, it's that the Sora is a very good mainstream price mechanical keyboard. It has a ton of extra features with the Swarm app or program, whichever you prefer, that are definitely going to be useful to any PC gamer, especially if you do play a lot of keyboard and mouse heavy games such as League of Legends, StarCraft 2, etc. And you have all the macro keys and the profile capabilities for any lands that you might be attending. And of course, the finer control over the lighting is also welcome. And of course, you don't have to use it to turn the breathing mode off or control the brightness. It's just a more finer control. As I said right at the start of this video, the Sora also feels well built, feels sturdy. Definitely feels like it could take a bit more punishment than my current keyboard and overall just feels like a very well built keyboard. Now, as you probably would have heard earlier on in the video, the keystroke sound is a little loud, but I would still say it's a solid choice for YouTubers and streamers, as it's, it's gonna hold up well to hours of use, and of course you're also gaming in your free time using keyboard and mouse, then this is definitely going to take that punishment pretty well as well. So, overall, I would say that for those looking to make the jump to a mechanical keyboard without breaking the bank, I would definitely recommend the Rocket Sora as a solid option. Now, I will have included a link in the description below this video to our written review of this particular keyboard, so do check that out if you so desire. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.